Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, we call this uh, press conference today because of the uh, mounting road toll that we have in this state presently. Um, as you'd be aware, there's been 53 people that have lost their lives on our roads uh, this year, and that's in comparison to 34 last year. Um, SAPO are very concerned in regards to the mounting road toll and the behaviour of motorists. Um, for this uh, weekend just gone past from 5pm on Friday um, until 5am this morning, we ran a road safety campaign across the state um, to um, ensure that uh, motorist behaviour uh, was as it should be in regards to uh, complying with legislation. Uh, as a result of that um, campaign, uh, statewide campaign, uh, we actually tested over 15, uh, sorry, over 5,300 drivers and uh, 65 drivers returned a positive um, uh, breath test. Uh, and we also tested 450 drivers for uh, drugs, the presence of drugs. And we had 45 drivers, which is 10% of all tests return a positive um, drug detection. Uh, as a result of that, um, nearly 700 motorists also were issued with um, traffic expiation notices and uh, 82 further traffic uh, offences uh, will see people um, summons to court to appear at a later date. And we um, defected um, over 180 vehicles that were uh, unroadworthy and were taken from the, from the road for, um, for mechanical repair. So SAPOL are really, I suppose, disappointed with those figures. Um, they're really high figures um, given the current road toll. Um, we would expect to see greater compliance by motorists. That's very frustrating um, for us. We're doing all we possibly can do to ensure the safety of motorists, and we just ask the community to ensure that uh, they take responsibility for their driving and their actions when they're using our roads in the state. Inspector, how does it compare to the previous blitzes? Um, uh, the blitz itself is, um, I suppose, not dissimilar to, to previous blitzes. What does concern us is that we've sent a really strong media message um, of late in respect to people's driving behaviours and the road toll. And um, what, what's concerning, I suppose, is that we're still getting drivers, um, 65 drivers, as I said, re returning a positive alcohol result, and also 45 drivers testing um, positive to drugs, not to mention the 700 expiation fees that have been, ex um, um, that have been sent to motorists as well, or provided to motorists for, for driving behaviour offences. Of the 65 who tested positive were drinking, what was the high end, higher end of them? Oh, look, we had uh, driving up over 0.2, so quite high, four times the, the, the legal limit. So I'm um, obviously concerned that that message is simply not getting through to some drivers. Mm -hmm. And the drugs that were detected? Uh, the drugs, uh, obviously we had a, a mixture of drugs, whether it be cannabis or um, methamphetamine. Um, we know there are a couple of incidents that were highlighted over the weekend. One was a, an officer on speed detection duties was hit by a, a speeding and drunk motorist and another one at Millswood where uh, driving the parked car. Uh, first of all, how, how's the officer involved in the um, outside collision? Uh, that officer's fine, thanks for your inquiry, um, and he's recovering um, uh, fine. Um, but again, it's the behaviour of a driver that's uh, driving at speed under the influence of alcohol that's created that collision. And, you know, not ris only risking his own si safety as a driver, but obviously the safety of the rest of the community. In a word, how would you describe that, that kind of behaviour? Oh, look, we're just frustrated as an organisation in respect to the behaviour of some of the motorists. They're simply not getting the message. It's idiocy to, idiocy to be driving, um, uh, you know, whilst you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Um, we've been quite firm in regards to that. Everyone knows the laws, and yet people are still flouting those laws. There's a gentleman who was caught uh, drink driving twice in a day, an unlicensed driver. What do you have to say about someone like that? Uh, again, uh, the message is simply not getting through to some of the drivers. Um, we need to make it clear, we'll be highly visible and highly present on the roads across the whole state. If you drink and you drive, or you drug drive, you will get caught. Um, you, said, you said that uh, we know there's been a lot of fatal accidents recently and people will be seeing the horrific pictures on the news every night. Um, given that that seems not to be getting through and you're, perhaps the message isn't, is, there, is it time for a change of tack here? Oh, look, I think it's about everyone taking accountability and accepting responsibility for it. As an organisation, we're doing all we possibly can. It's really up to the people that are using our road networks to ensure that they actually drive appropriately. You know, they wear seatbelts, they're not distracted. You know, they don't take drugs or, or, or consume alcohol and actually take responsibility for their actions. What impact would the Treasurer's proposed increase the fines make on behaviour? 
oh, look, at the end of the day, that's um, something that we'll see in the fullness of time um, once that, that comes in as to whether that has a positive impact. Um, again, it's about making sure people are actually responsible in respect to their driving and their behaviours. Police are weeks, obviously, but Uh, most certainly. Um, I mean, we regularly do um, road safety campaigns and blitzes to ensure that the motoring public are safe and remain safe, and we'll continue to do that. Um, we we um, run a calendar where we do road safety campaigns and um, we'll continue to do that. Obviously, we always review our, our business process and we'll continue to do that. Will there be a strong presence over the gym long weekend? Most certainly. This morning, some police officers training were involved in a collision. Can you tell us what happened there? Uh, yeah, we had a vehicle that um, left the roadway um, and uh, uh, as a result of that, um, that collision, um, a couple of officers were uh, injured and they've been taken to hospital. Uh, we're still investigating that matter. Is this a standard kind of training procedure? Uh, the members were driving training, so um, it would be normal for them to be out driving in a car. So we're obviously still investigating that matter. With 53 deaths on the road so far this year, we know last Monday, that 24-hour period, we had four within... 24 hours. Um, have you seen a day like that in your time in the traffic support branch? And I'll be at crisis point now as far as the road toll is concerned. Uh, I haven't seen a day like that since I've been at uh, the traffic support branch. Um, having said that, um, we're not at crisis point. At the end of the day, if people take responsibility for their behaviours, as I've said before, and and comply with the road laws, okay, and are actually um, behave appropriately in respect to other road users and are polite and courteous in respect to it, then we shouldn't have road fatalities. We can we can stop that. But, but we are. I mean, isn't the point here that, that people are still doing it and after this press conference today they'll probably keep on doing it. So what, what, can, what can be done to, to stop this happening? Well, again, it's about people accepting responsibility and it's, it's by us actually driving that, that point um, d through that uh, we're doing what we can as an organisation. It's important for those that actually use the roads and road networks to ensure they take responsibility and accountability for their driving behaviours. Um, if everybody takes accountability for their driving behaviour, then that will lower the road toll. No, I have no information in respect to that. It's still being investigated. Do you know if there was a trainee behind the wheel or a supervisor? I don't have that information, I'm sorry.